Back again just a day after my latest video and today is just going to be a quick recap of my latest weekend league. Last week as you'll probably know I got 40 out of 40 and left myself 6th in Europe with just 80 games to go. Another 40 this weekend would pretty much guarantee qualification so let's see how it goes. So this was my team for the latest weekend. As you can see only two real changes if you can call them real changes. After my uh, latest rewards, I was left with about 3.3 million coins in my balance. So what I did was I sold my gold Ronaldo for about 1.7 million, maybe 1.75 million. Left me with roughly about 4.9 million, just under what I needed to get the team of the year Ronaldo. So what I did was sold my 94 Suarez, got the 93 instead, made about 300k profit, and then I had enough for the team of the year Ronaldo, who quite obviously is the best player in the game and the exact sort of player you're going to need when you're going into a weekend when you really need 40 out of 40. Going into my games, I was thinking to myself, you know, should I really be changing anything after such a perfect weekend? But when you've got the chance to get the 99 team of the year, Ronaldo, what can you do? So anyway, I'm quickly just going to show you the changes I made at the start of every game. I actually switched to the diamond, put Modric CDM, Griezmann at Cam, Ronaldo and Bale obviously up front, told them to get in behind, the CDM to stay back and the fullbacks to stay back. No other instructions okay. needed. Now when you're starting you know, your games early on a Friday, this is what you need to kick you off. First few minutes of the game, first chance of the game, Modric through, bottom corner and that was enough for this guy to think to himself, you know what, I've got no chance in coming back as he paused it and quit straight away. Now Friday mornings can be quite tricky, as you know after you win a few games you do start to get matched up with quite decent people, you know I think I've explained this what in a previous video, so someone quitting at 1-0 is pretty much exactly what you'll need. Usually what I try and do on Friday, I'll usually wake up first thing, you know like you know, 7am, I think that's what time it starts, 7am, I'll play, you know, 5-6 games, have a little break, have some of weed, chill out for a bit, then in the early afternoon I'll play another 5 and 6, trying to find the balance between, you know, playing against hard opponents but still getting the skill points you need, just in case it does come down to skill rating and not just on wins. Now, as you're about to see, as usual, Ramos pressing the ball, the minute his player gets it, Plays it through, Griezmann and Ronaldo, a driven shot across goal, terrible finish for once, I don't know how I managed to miss that with the team via Ronaldo, but when you looks in, you looks in and it bounces straight back to him. Just like Ian Modric into Ronaldo, driven shot again, you know, how many of these driven shots do I score? I mean, they must go to about 50% of my goals, the driven shot across goal. Now, I hope you're watching this because you're about to see something very, very rare here. I've just given away a penalty at 4-1 and unbelievably, for one of the first times to share, I read and save his penalty. Amazing. Now, late in the game, 85th minute, he's obviously had to push forward, burst from Ronaldo into Bale, finishes it and that is 6-1 and game over. As you can see, this guy is using the 4 1 2 and 2 wide. And you know, I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's the way I play or whether it's the fact that I always use narrow formations. I always struggle against wide formations in the weekend league. Whether it's 4 1 2 and 2 wide, 4 4 2, 4 2 3 1, 4 3 3. I really, really just always struggle to get a grip to them. And I always find myself going, you know, 1 0 or 2 1 behind. Luckily though, in this occasion, I do what I pretty much always do, from kick off, I run up the wing, pass it inside, slot someone through and I'm straight back in the game. Pretty much the same thing, just a few minutes later, get it through to Pogba and just in the space of what, 10 second half minutes, I've completely turned it around. Same thing, again, take it off from kick off, pass it through to Bale and I don't need to tell you what type of finish I'm about to do here. Next opponent was this guy, and you know, as soon as I see this formation, as usual, alarm bells are ringing. Also, with that man of the match, Walker, I've had a few problems with him in the past. Luckily, though, 30 minutes in, managed to find just the right time to slot Ronaldo through. Lucky rebound, but a deserved goal, really. I had missed a few chances up until that point. Then, bang on the 45th minute, he agrees and gives it to Ronaldo, scoops the left back. Puts a driven pass across, which, as you'll probably know by now, the driven passes in from the side of the box on the most overpowered things in the game, and it's 2 0. However, just after half time, terrible touch by Pogba gives it back to him, passes it hazard, and smashes it in the top corner. And I'm thinking I could be in for you know a nervous second half, 
but just 10 minutes later, I managed to get through with Bale, edge of the box, driven shot, bottom corner, game over. This game did make me start to realise that, you know, I think 4-3-1-2 overall is better than the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. The first half, I could not create anything at all. That was the best I could produce. 30-yard long shot with Griezmann. Did not create any chances at all. But then straight into the second half, and pretty much every time I got the ball, I was slicing him open. I got it through to Griezmann here. Another lucky rebound for the second game in a row, and that was it. The game finished 1-0. Lately, I have been really struggling with Saturday mornings, you know. My plan pretty much throughout the year has been Friday morning, Saturday morning, Sunday afternoon slash night, you know, trying to space the games over the three days as best as I can. However, the last few Saturdays, I really have been struggling to come against some decent opponents who've caused me a lot of trouble. And this was another one, you know, at nil-nil, this guy missed a one-on-one. I think he hit the post at one-nil and two-nil to me. You know, on another day, he could have been, you know, a couple of goals up, but I do manage to get into a two-goal lead with a nice finish from Suarez there. However, just before half-time, he does get the goal that he deserved. You know, he spins me, somehow holds off Team of the Year Ramos. I don't know how that works. Like, puts it across, Crosco puts it in the empty net, and he's back in it. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm in for, you know, a game here. Luckily, though, Burbs win by Bailey on the counter-attack, plays it on Ronaldo. He brings his keeper out square back of Bale, whips it round the keeper and put his 3-1 up just after half time and pretty much from there I got the ball again, he lost his head at this point, he took Walker out with Button. Now this penalty I can guarantee you would never have went in if it wasn't already 3-1 but it did and it's game over. 19 wins and no all losses now and we are coming into the final couple of games of my Saturday. You know what I usually do as you may or may not know is I try and get at least half my games out the way before Sunday as early as possible, get the skill rating and then I can you know chill out and play the easy opponents on a Sunday afternoon slash night. However this was another game where I really really struggled as you're going to see here. Yeah, bit of bullshit with Greed and somehow sugaring off Smalling, get to the little bill and I score bang on the 45th minute. You know, and you're going to see again here, I mean, I'm the first person to complain about getting lucky and conceding bad goals, but just looking at this and looking at some of the highlights of this weekend, I really, really did get lucky. I mean, terrible finish by Pogba, bounces straight back to him for an open goal, and it gets even better here, another lucky rebound, puts Ronaldo through, puts it across goal, and it's 3-1 and it's over. So I'm sat there, 20 wins, no losses on the Saturday, and I think to myself, should I just play one more? I decide to, and what a decision this turns out to be. As you've just seen, this guy has a pretty decent team. He has Ronaldo, Bale, Neymar, Vidal, Pogba, and the rest. You know, but clearly this guy didn't rate his team as highly as I did. As from the start, he subbed Modric off, put Socrates on, and went 5 3 2. You know, and pretty much parked the bus from the get go. And when someone parks the bus, you know, at a, at a draw, you need things like this to go in. Bale clean through, and the, somehow drags his shot wide. Now just look at this, Modric tries to pass it to Walker, the game makes Pogba intercept it, take a terrible touch, give this guy a 2 on 2 and you know he finishes it quite well but what is that you know, when the game's against you, it's against you. Luckily though late in the game I do manage to break his bus down, I work a short free kick well, in Hazard I went subbed on for Griezmann and that was pretty much the last chance of the game and this guy just played 4 penalties. So into the penalties, and it goes without saying, the penalties are far from my favourite part of FIFA. You know, I've only won one penalty shootout on the whole of FIFA 17, and that was back when I got my first 40 out of 40. Back in, like, October, you know, I've lost my last seven in a row before this. So going into it, especially after how this guy played you with his 5-3-2, I wasn't confident at all. However, as you're about to see, going into the final two penalties, it was 3 all with the chance to win it. So is this going to be the moment where I put the record straight and finally get my win? No, it's not. Who was I kidding? And on a sudden death it went. You know, if you wanted one player to take your fifth and final penalty to win you a shootout, it would be Team of the Year Ronaldo, wouldn't it? But because it's me, of course. I, you know what? I changed my mind at the last second as well. I was going to go left or down the middle. I was like holding the run. Holding the stick to go to the left. And the last second I went right, put it straight onto his keeper's arm. Now this just went on for a while now. We both couldn't guess the right way at all. He was altering his run-ups. I think he figured out I was, you know, second guessing him. You know, he makes it, I think, like seven, six, eight, seven now. And here's the moment. Kyle Walker steps up. He reads it. And, yeah, 
my first loss and my first half of this weekend has been on look at that he only had four shots in 120 minutes 45 possession and left my record looking like this at the halfway point so that is the end to the first half of my latest weekend league recap. Bit of a disappointing end and it's left me under a lot of pressure for my final 19 games. You know, one more loss could see me drop out of the top 10 with just one weekend remaining after this. Anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Comment down below, let me know what you thought. And I'll be seeing you in my next video, which will probably be coming out tomorrow.